Hello. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the RBAC. RBAC is nothing but the a role-based access control. So in this RBAC, we'll be seeing how the roles are assigned to a an user, how an administrator has access, and what are the access, and what are the pre-configured roles are there. So basically, how we will uh, create a new uh, 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 roles and assign to a user. So this is what we'll be seeing in this uh, video. So for that, our back, go to the access, and here you will see membership and roles. Basically, the users, uh, Isilon has users and user groups. So users can come from any authentication providers, and the default one available are file and local. So here you can see the file and local, and for groups the same file and local so this file and local are default and these will have set of users the local will have the guest and the users that we create and file will have some pre-configured um, generic accounts like root admin comp admin remote support so these are all the uh, accounts that will be using for any one of the isolon uh, feature so root admin Comp admin. So comp admin is nothing but the uh, user user account which is used for the compliance mode cluster. And remote support is used for the EMC and FTP for uh, uploading the logs. Inside IQ is software that is used for uh, monitoring purpose. And uh, www and id idpd nobody and git domain. So these are all the some pre-configured generic accounts. So if you want to create any local account, so create the local user. Let's give test user2 and give the password and enter the full name. And so I'm giving the primary group as default. So if you want to add this to any other groups, you can add here. And home directory, everything I'm leaving to default. And account expiration set. I'm setting the account expiry as till November. And enables account. So I'm done. I'm going to create it. Create the user. So this user is created. So we will need to, so the user is created, uh, but what kind of roles that this user has in terms of Isilon administrator. So for that, we will need to give him some rules, uh, so roles so that uh, with that particular role, he will be able to do any kind of operation that he is doing inside the Isilon uh, cluster. So for that, we will have to go to the roles. There are some pre-configured roles in Isilon. So here you can see audit admin, backup admin, security admin, and statistics admin, system admin. So these are all some pre-configured roles where, uh, and also you have VMware admin. You can add the user directly to it, or if you want to create your own custom role, you can create it here. So let's see what are the, um, the privileges available inside the audit admin. Audit admin is basically kind of a read-only access where they will have only a limited I mean, kind of audit persons who uh, do some audit, so you can add that particular user to this audit domain. They'll have only uh, permissions to view so something uh, like uh, auditing purpose only. All of read. So here you can see the access, the description, and the name. So console login in from the console read only. Platform API is read only. SSH read only. Time upgrade antivirus audit certificate. So here you can see all the privileges and all are having read only. So in this custom role, you will not be able, I mean the uh, pre-configured role, you will not be able to edit these uh, privileges. So if you want to uh, create your own privileges uh, with the role, so then you can uh, create your own uh, role here. Create role, test role, just give some description, add the user. So now we are going to add the user 
test user that we created so so here we have the test user 2 john and adding him coming down add privilege so here again uh, choose which kind of access he needs whether he needs read only or read write so i'll give few as read only and i'll make few as read write so here you can see the list of privileges available so all you can give antivirus so and if you give antivirus as a read write then this user will be able to configure the antivirus settings and audit backup and cloud pools so if you give a read write access then he can create cloud pool policies and uh, deal with the cloud pool account all these so if you give read only you can just view only the policies or only the jobs and how it is progressing so basically kind of uh, read only not editable role so like that you can see all the privileges available and here you can see the smb quota uh, smb uh, uh, smb config in the smb server i mean smb share smart pool config in the smart pool and shutdown so this is the one thing uh, basically you should give all this as uh, read only as uh, this particular uh, comments are like uh, which can affect the cluster so shutdown command can entirely shut down the uh, cluster itself and uh, logging through ssh support statistics viewing the statistics performance so all these things upgrade so person who is doing the upgrade can give read read all these things you can give so let's give few now so i'll give um, monitoring as read write so monitoring the register appliance monitoring the cluster Add privilege and again I will add cloud pools and I will add SMB uh, SMB share as a read write and What else? Um, so okay, and done. So with this, let's create this role. So now this particular user has been given a role. The user John. Okay, the name is user name is John. So now what I'm going to do is that I will try to log in with this user. Okay, I think we'll have to log out. Yes. Okay, so sorry, the username is test user. will not be able to access it says you do not have any assigned privileges the reason being we haven't set the login console access as read write or read only so due to this you will not be able to access it so for that let's get into the uh, roles i think it will not allow us this is logged out i think we need to log in back yeah roles so i'll go here test role edit now i'll add a privilege called read write console so here you can see console login in from so this is nothing but console is the gui and if you want to uh, log in through cli i mean ssh so here you have option called ssh login from so these two has to be enabled for the user so I'll give add privilege save. Okay, so it says that this is not to set to read write, so we'll add as read only. Yeah. So now I'll log out.
we'll check if the user name is correct I'm not sure about the username okay it's test hyphen user hyphen 2 okay correct account is enabled Okay, we are done. Let's try now. Okay, the thing is that uh, we will need the user, I mean, the console to be a read write. So, a few things we will not be able to. Uh, assign the role as read write in our custom role yeah so what we'll do is that we'll try to add this user we'll remove this user from from the test role and i'll try to add it to the system admin system admin is kind of a read write access so i'm going to add the user that we created locally test user 2 and coming down here you can see all the privileges that has been given okay now let me try to log in through this one so I am to log in as a test user. So here you can see logged in as test user 2. So I will have only limited privileges. Sorry, okay. So I have added as a system admin. So I should have maximum uh, privileges for this. So here you can see. So I will go and try to create a, a SMB share. So here, yes, I have option to create SMB share. And uh, let me try to configure antivirus. Yes, I can create antivirus. So if you don't have a, a um, so if you don't have privilege, then you will not have this particular option itself. So this option itself will get grayed out. And uh, cluster overview, yeah, I'm able to see all those things. And upgrade. So upgrade one of us. Yes, I'm able to do this. So here you can see the general settings, hardware configuration. So here you can see the drives. Yeah, I able to see all the drives. So here you can see all the drives and its uh, status. And here is this cluster. So let me try to reboot the cluster. Yeah, I'm able to do that as well. So these are all the uh, settings that we have in uh, user so I mean the uh, roles and users so let's so here you can see I have a limited access so when you go to access I will not be able to add any other users so here you can see I have only file filter option so in this way you will be able to uh, check what are the privileges that you have inside a uh, Isilon cluster. Let me log out. We have given a reboot, so it's getting rebooted. So let me refresh. So this reboot should get uh, two or two to three minutes. Let's wait until the cluster is up and running. So the cluster is back online. I'll try login again. So now we'll see the other options in the RBAC. Go to membership and roles. So here uh, we saw the uh, users and the groups here. So these are all the default groups that are available. 
the administrator group user guest backup operator isolon users so these are all the uh, default generic uh, account i mean uh, groups that are available in local and in file you can see we'll admin ftp guest ifs iidp and uh, so lldp nobody and get demo so these are all the groups and also here you can change the access zone and so users as we saw they are a different access zone will have different ad so we can change the access zone here and you can check the user accounts here as we have added a file in group for this as well so we are able to see the uh, file and users in finance access zone as well and if you are adding a different ad then here you will have the list of uh, providers i mean the ad lab and you can click on that and you will be able to view all the users coming down under that particular ad so here you can see uh, as we saw the roles so how to create a role and uh, how to add the user to the role and how to add privileges to the role so these are all things that you can do and i think that's it pretty much we saw in the uh, gui let's see a few on the cli as well